Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventure with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, before we get started, be sure to smash that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. So I decided I'm going to do a video about what I eat in a day. I often show clips of me, you know, cooking and using my, um, my new stove and my mini dash toaster oven, but I'm going to kind of go through um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacking, all those different things to show you what I eat. Um, recently I kind of decided that I wanted to lose a little bit of weight, so I am eating healthier and I'm feeling so much better when I do so. Less Taco Bell Mexican pizzas, <laughs> more fruits and veggies. So I'm going to show you what I eat. Um, I'm not really going to give like nutritional suggestions or anything like that because I am no expert, but it's simply going to showcase how I go throughout my day with my meals and my snacking. I do like to uh, kind of snack a lot because I don't like cooking necessarily. Um, so I'm going to show you how I stay full and what I do to kind of curb my cravings if I want something unhealthy uh, but crunchy. And uh, so yeah, so you can kind of see what I do throughout the day to keep full and energized. <laughs> Let's get going. I know that they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but I'm not a huge breakfast person. So this is kind of a typical breakfast for me. I really like yogurt. I feel like it fills me up and this is my favorite gr granola. So I put granola in my yogurt, very tasty snack. I like it for breakfast, but I also like it as a snack during the day. So, um, and then fresh fruit. So I started keeping a fruit basket bananas, these uh, California mandarins, and apples are my favorite. So I also really like peaches, and it just kind of, you know, depends on the fruit season, but this is a typical breakfast for me. I recently decided to integrate a fruit basket into my van, so my fruits are very easy to access. I have apples and my California mandarins. I've eaten all by my bananas, so those are gone. This is my mini dash toaster oven. I'm obsessed with it. It draws about 450 watts, so you do need quite a bit of power to use it. And this storage bin keeps my dry food, bread, uh, snacks, items like that. So, and then of course I have my fridge for all of my cold food. So in my dry food container, is all sorts of stuff at times here. So I have my bread. I like to get the fresh bread from the grocery store. I don't like the basic loaves of white bread. Um, this just tastes way better. It's higher quality and it would take me kind of a while to get through a whole loaf of uh, like Sara Lee for example. So this is really good for if you just want like some bread and butter or if you want to make a cold sandwich or a hot sandwich in my toaster oven which is my favorite thing to do. I also, whoop, I started recently using these cups of Idahoan mashed potatoes. They have really uh, made their recipe much better and this is so tasty. All you have to do is boil water and stir. And what's great is there are lots of different types of mashed potatoes. I like the loaded. The garlic and herb is good too. Even the plain is really tasty. And you can eat it with anything. Chicken, steak, veggies, whatever you want to pair with mashed potatoes. I personally love potatoes. So I have all my different Idaho potatoes. I have a Cheez-It mix if I ever want something kind of crunchy and salty. I just eat a little bit at a time because I don't want to gorge myself. The trail mix is always a good snack. I just like the really basic trail mix. Um, sweet, salty, and it's pretty filling because of the, the nuts, so you get that protein. And then I really like my, my meats. My pepperoni, pepperoni and cheese is a great snack. Uh, goes well with crackers as well. So I actually haven't even opened this bag. It's brand new. So those are kind of my little um, snacky items, and then of course my potatoes for meals, and I keep my granola in here as well. And whatever else, uh, if I have dry 
food. Sometimes I put my bread in my fridge, depending on, you know, if it's warm out or if I have space. So that is my dry food storage. Now for the inside of my fridge. So I, of course, have my beer. I don't really drink soda. I like to drink flavored sparkling waters. This is AHA. There's lots of different brands that I like, but of course, it's zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Just carbonated flavored water. I keep Winston's uh, refrigerated food in here, of course. Butter for cooking. Um, I like to cut up veggies, so I have cut up red peppers. Oop, my fridge is gonna close. Cut up red peppers and also carrots that I like to eat with my Southwest Ranch dip. It's really tasty. Um, I just have plain veggies. Uh, I had cucumbers the other day and I just dip it in there for a little bit of flavor. It's a nice, healthy, crunchy snack. I have my lunch meat. So this is provolone, salami, and pepperoni. So this is what I use to make my hot Italian sandwiches. Or it's a good snack as well. I recently started getting this uh, Foster Farms grilled chicken strips. So this is great just to eat plain with mashed potatoes, in a quesadilla, on a salad. So many different uses for this. And it's just a little bag that you can find in the meat section of your grocery store. Foster Farms is uh, pretty high quality and very tasty. And then I have my little carrot packs. I like to share these with Winston. I also have pickles and my mustard. Bacon bits are great for my potatoes if I want to add them, a little bit of protein, and then I have my yogurt in there as well. This large storage bin goes in the recessed trunk space that I have, and that is my cooking sheet that I put my mini toaster oven on when I'm using it. I also have this small camping skillet. It's non-stick. It's very convenient and a little pot for boiling and cooking. I also have my kitchen utensils. That kit I purchased off of Amazon. So I keep that, baggies, those things that I need for cooking in that storage bin. I am heating up some chicken now on my Gas One butane stove. I love this little stove. This is the Gas One Mini. It's only nine inches as opposed to 13. So I'm just going to heat up some chicken. I love this pre-bagged chicken because you can use it for a variety of things. Um, so I'm going to heat some up, just basic salt and pepper on this. Have it with some veggies. It'll be a very tasty lunch. Yeah, I just cook on my fridge a lot of the time um, or my little bamboo table. Works out really nicely. And of course, I'm going to share it with kiddo. My favorite thing to make in my toaster oven is a hot Italian sandwich with my bread, butter, salami, pepperoni, and provolone cheese with a little bit of Dijon mustard cooks for six minutes and it's very delicious. I try to change up what I eat from, you know, every couple of weeks or so. I don't want to get bored of the same food items, but I also really enjoy making things like tacos and quesadillas. Tortillas are a really great staple. Also like refried beans and cheese, super easy to make a lot of different um, Mexican cuisine meals. Also rice. Rice is easy to cook and you can also get the little like rice of roni rice bowls, kind of like the Idahoan mashed potatoes that I have. So those just require boiling water. And what's nice is that you can add a protein or a veggie of your choice. Fairly inexpensive to do it that way. Um, I'm limited on space. So that's why I don't carry like a ton of food on me. And plus, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to run errands and go into town and, you know, go to the store. So uh, because of all of those factors, I, I do shop and get groceries quite frequently, especially because items like deli meat and bread will go bad quickly if you don't use them. So I'm I need to restock pretty frequently. I also like 
fruit cups and canned vegetables like green beans. That's a really delicious uh, veggie to cook. Easy. Just add some seasoning, some butter. You can make it super, super tasty. Lots of different options. You can do the same thing with cups of noodles. Again, adding protein or veggies of your choice. And freeze-dried meals are really delicious as well. They can be a little pricey, but they're easy and they fill you up. So I hope that this video was helpful to you in showing how I cook, what I cook, what I snack on, and be sure to drop this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.